Hello guys, Jagveer Singh back with another video of Katia V5 and in this video I will teach you how to use fill feature in surface designing. So let's get started. Well, in general fill feature is pretty simple and just as the name suggests fill, it will help you to fill any particular sketch that you want to join or if you have a particular profile that you just want to fill up with a surface. It have uh, two features, outer boundaries and inner boundaries that most people doesn't really know the difference is because they just use it as a normal fill in general but I will try to show both of them and how they are different and how they work. So before that I'm going to make a sketch and let me make an open sketch and I will show you that what might be the problem that you might encounter when you will be trying to use fill. So let's say I'm just going to use a profile and this shape is okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's try to make this and something like that. Okay, I'm going to make okay. That looks okay. And then I exit out and now I have a sketch that I, I will try to make use of fill into which Right here is the fill function. When I click on fill, I have two options, outer boundaries and inner boundaries. I'm going to start with outer boundaries first. So in outer boundaries, you can see if I, I just want to fill this surface entirely, uh, this particular sketch with a surface. So I'm going to choose the sketch. And now you can see that it says that there is an open gap, open end gap of 73.393 millimeters. So if I try to click preview it's not going to it's going to be a failure because the fill feature doesn't know that the surface is open it should be closed in order to have fill feature activated so the first thing is you need to make sure that your sketch is properly closed and confined to do so I'm just going to use a line in order to connect both the ends and make it as a closed sketch you can also do the same thing by going back to the sketch and making a line and joining both the ends like both the ways are correct and now I'm going to use fill again so now I have this feature it, it says again that this uh, gap is open I can click on the line so now it says closed counter when I click preview now it's normally so this is the main function of fill that most people generally use. Also there is an option of passing element. In order to show that for now I'm just going to click OK and I'm going to work with this. Passing element to show passing element it can be a plane, it can be a line, it can be anything or uh, sorry it can be a point or, or a line or any other feature or a sketch that you want to propagate your surface through. What, my, what I mean by that is let's say I'm going to offset a plane from here let's say on the other side at any random distance and I'm just going to create a random point somewhere anywhere it can be anywhere I'm just creating it somewhere there so now when I double click back on this when it says passing element alright So if I delete this and try to make the fill again, but this time I'm going to use passing element as that particular point. So passing element is going to be that point that I'm going to use. Now when I click preview, you see, still it filled up the gap, but it used that point as a passing element. So it can be of a great importance as you have some surfaces and some shapes that you might want to make it look something like as a nose shape or with, with a certain curvature so you can use fill not just to actually make plain surfaces but also at different angles or having different shapes using one simple fill function so this is the, uh, uh, the other way that you can use the fill well. So now the third way I'm going to show is 
so the first one was outer boundaries now is the inner boundaries as you can see that the outer boundaries actually filled up the inside of the surface inside of the sketch whereas the inner boundary is going to cover the outside of the edge I know it's kind of weird but that's how it works if I click preview so as you can see it is a random square or a plane kind of a structure where it says that okay it's going to take all the edge points right here and cover it and make it a parallelogram or a rectangle depending on the features shape so now if I want to use the passing element as a point let's see how it will look like so it will try to cover the exterior the outside and make the surface go through that point somehow that's why it looks kind of weird but if we think about it as if we have another layers of surfaces and if we have like extrusion of these surfaces throughout the throughout the infinity plane then you, you can simply compare that there will and if I choose a passing element at this point then that self surface will definitely pass through this point in space if there is any extrusion of this particular piece right here or this particular surface so that's another way but this is very rarely used very very rare because most people just use it use fill as outer boundaries so the normal main function that you might be encountering with is when you have to fill a particular surface flatly so what I mean by flatly is just like I showed in the very beginning select and use a close counter and click preview and click OK this is the main thing that you are going to encounter with and that's pretty much it for the fill feature thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and share this channel